Hey everyone and welcome to Crimson Quest. This is my first tutorial um, and I want to go over PIP or the Planetary Imaging Preprocessor Software. And it's used for anyone that's using something like a Next Image 5 or maybe even your cell phone, anything that produces an AVI file. What it does is it takes your shaky image, if it's from one corner of you know imaging location to the other or you know something shakes a little bit or if you're using an all azimuth mount when it goes to readjust you know you, you your image isn't still it isn't in the same place and it can be problematic when you go to stack the images to make one final good image so it's kind of like a step in between stacking it's like prepping for the stack so and it's super easy to use but it's definitely a recommendation to use it especially if you're using something like a next image 5 when you go to look it up on google it's uh, it'll be about midway down a page if you just type in PIPP and it comes up and you should get to a web page that looks something like this and click downloads now obviously I'm on windows so you can do 32-bit or 64-bit. You can do install it with Linux with a thing called Wine. So if you're already on Linux, you most likely know what that is. And I'm not 100% sure, but it should work on OS X with Wine. But I'm not sure the compatibility there. I know there's some there's some holes there with, with Wine and OS X versus Linux. But anyway, once you have it, download it. If you're on Windows, just it, yes, accept everything and... Just do the defaults and you should be good to go. So once you get to that point, go ahead and open it up. All right, so once you have it open, this should be what you see. Um, and it's relatively straightforward from here. You can do file, add source files, or you can click and drag. So go find your AVI file wherever you have it stored. I have it right here. And what you'll get once you slide the file in there is this window here. You can see it. This is what your final image will basically look like inside the frame. You can zoom it. This is just a preview image, by the way. It's just, it's not, this is not your final. And you see this is frame number one of 5,000. Once you're done looking at it, you just exit out. It's not important. If you look down here, Optimize options for planetary, um, whatever it is you're doing. If you're going to do an animation with a GIF, if that's how you say GIF, AVI, for this is just planetary. Now that you have that, you can go over and do some other um, nice stuff. I don't usually mess with any of this. I just kind of go with the default and just go with it to get one single image. And do it. Let's go over here to output options and then you'll see here you want an output format of AVI and then you can have the default or you can select where the image will go once it's done. It will automatically create its own folder and do everything for you and it'll all be packaged up nicely. You'll just click into the folder and everything will be there. It does not change your original AVI. It keeps it the same and it just makes an additional folder along with it. Right here I have create subdirectory and it says pip head it appends the date and time and I'm just going to use the default and once you have everything you want you go over to do processing it's not complete by the way and all you do is hit start processing and it may take some time depending on the size of your folder or file and you can do multiple images at once but I typically just do one as I'm doing them. Now as you'll see once you're done it'll automatically open up the folder if you have that little box checked right here before you start it'll open up the folder that contains it. You see here that I have that's the image it just gave me and here is the AVI file that it created. If you see how it's completely steady in the center it does not go up in the corner over here because sometimes it does drift especially with an alt azimuth you know, they don't track properly, so you know, sometimes it'll drift down here. Or there's a little bit of shake in there, but that can all be thinned out with stacking. And that's it. 
Once you have that done, then this is your cleaned up AVI file. This is what you're going to want to use to import into um, Registax or something similar to that to start stacking. And that's it, guys. If you uh, if you like it, please subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks.